time. And let's say we never did that, but it's those little things. If we do those things all the time, it changes our defense. It does. And it, actually, in the second half, we got better at it. Yeah. Right? yeah. So defensively, you're pretty solid. So offensively, I will tell you guys, I've been coaching a lot of years at the high school level, and most of the teams I've always coached, it's one pass and a shot, or it's a try and a really good pass and a shot. What I'm very impressed with you guys is I saw several plays where it's a drive, it's a pass, the next guy catches it, he's driving, and he makes an even better pass for, a, for two passes and a finish. That doesn't happen a lot in high school ball. Copy, then we get it back together, and we continue to play better and better as a team because our intensity has went up, we're setting the pace, we're making the other teams respond to us instead of us responding to them. Do you feel how much better you're playing this weekend? Yeah, yeah for can sure. You, can you feel it, yeah. right? Because it's all coming together for you, right? You're getting used to the intensity, the pace, we're executing better. That's a good team, man. That's a good team. They got some really good players on that team, all right? They jumped out on us, we came back, we took control, we won the game. Okay. In the NBA for 11 years, finished with the Milwaukee Bucks, and he and I were speaking while we were watching you play, and I would like to have him share about your son when he was in junior high and how he didn't want to listen to him. Oh, uh, in junior high, my son Steve is now, <clears throat> is now uh, uh, he's uh, an analyst. He uh, he does the announcing for the Bucks. Sometimes he does color commentary. Uh, where he talks with the guy that's doing play-by-play. -play. Otherwise, uh, 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 he was uh, he just retired from the from the NBA, but he was with nine different teams during those 11 years. But uh, as a, uh, uh, as a, a middle schooler, when he was in uh, seventh or eighth grade, before he got to high school, I was his high school coach. Uh, he would he wouldn't listen so well because I was his father. What did I know? Um, it was that age of rebellion. It wasn't until uh, I was his coach that he had to listen to me because otherwise he'd be sitting on the bench next to me. So he knew that if he wanted to play, he better do what I asked of him. And he found. This is our weight room, the 2011 championship trophy. come to my house so I have everything set up at my house now I'm super super fortunate super blessed because you know it took me 10 years uh, to be able to actually be able to do this but built my nice you know my dream house I have a half court basketball court in my backyard um, like indoor uh, NBA so it's like perfect so then 